Hi, Pastor Dave here with another devotion, our Sunday night devotion. And as I was thinking about what to talk about tonight, I thought about driving my daughter to the airport yesterday. Katie is going back to be with her husband in Arizona, living in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's, it's not actually the end of the world, but you can see it from there. And she's uh, living there while he's working in the Navajo Nation as a pharmacist at one of their clinics. And I thought, uh, it's sad to uh, say goodbye to your daughter. Some of you had had that experience and you know what I'm talking about. But we were talking about that we would see each other again soon. She's hoping to come to our family reunion in July. And we're supposed to have a family reunion in North Carolina. And it looks like we may still be able to do that with all this quarantine craziness going on. But we're looking forward to getting together again and seeing our loved ones that we haven't seen in a long time, my sisters and their husbands and kids, and looking forward to just having a wonderful time together. And I was thinking about reunions and how often this life is having to say goodbye, having to say goodbye to people that you may not see for a long time, or saying goodbye to people that you will never see again in this life. We've done that with Jill's parents and her brothers. Um, we've said goodbye to my father. Uh, there's many others in our life that we've said goodbye to, many wonderful people of faith that we've had to say goodbye. And I'm looking forward to the time when we can get together as a church again. It feels like it's been so long since we've been together to worship God in person. But all of this pales in comparison to the time that we're going to get together forever. Jesus said in John 14, Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. He is preparing rooms for his people, rooms where we will be able to move for the rest of our life, for the rest of eternity. Katie said that she's lived like four places in the five years that she's been married to Josh. And she said she doesn't know that she's going to live in Arizona for very long either. Um, and she says, moving is hard. And I said, yeah, it is. There's one day we're going to have our last move. And we're going to be able to enjoy our home in God's presence forever. And there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. What a wonderful thought. Those people that we've said goodbye to in the Lord, we will see them again. We will see Jill's brothers his parent, her parents, um, my father, my grandparents. We're going to see all of our loved ones once again. And uh, all of our church brothers and sisters that we've said goodbye to, many wonderful people of, of God, we will see them again. And we may even be surprised at some of the people that are there with us in heaven. And I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are too. Jesus said, you know the place, you know the way to the place where I'm going. And Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. What a wonderful knowledge that we have, that Jesus Christ is the way to the Father. Again, if you've never accepted Christ, all you have to do is sincerely pray to him and say, I want your forgiveness I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I need your grace. Come into my life. Forgive me and be the Lord of my life. That's, that's the contract. That's saying, God, you have my life. And when we put our trust in him, we will never be ashamed. We will, he will never fail us. He's got a place already for every one of his people. Don't miss that reunion. Father, we thank you for the reminder that we have from your word that you have a place prepared for us, that death does not have the final say, but that in Christ we have an eternity 
with you and with each other. Thank you, Lord, for our loved ones. Thank you even for those who've gone on before us. And I pray, Lord, for us to have that faith, to look forward to that greatest reunion ever, when we will be gathered together and never be apart again. In the name of Jesus, we pray this. Amen. God bless you. Have a good Sunday night and have a good week.